Prison is meant to be a punishment, but for Gypsy Rose Blanchard, it was a place to find freedom and a Tiger King-inspired romance. Despite the nature of prison, Gypsy Rose Blanchard has repeatedly expressed that her time behind bars was much more freeing than the years she was under her mother's care and control. Under Dee Dee Blanchard's guardianship, Gypsy Rose was forbidden to walk, eat normally, go outside, or have friends. But in prison, she finally got the chance to be her own person. In 2018, she sat down with 2020 and said, I feel like I'm freer in prison than with living with my mom, because now I'm allowed to just live like a normal woman. In the same regard, Christy Blanchard, Gypsy Rose's stepmother, told the Springfield News Leader, If she had a choice to either be in jail or back with her mom, she would rather be in jail. Prison isn't the best place to find romance, but for Gypsy Rose Blanchard, it opened up opportunities to explore dating. And it led to her getting engaged twice. In 2017, Blanchard met a man named Ken through a pen pal program at her prison. The two dated for a year and a half, and Ken proposed in April 2019. By August 2019, Christy Blanchard revealed to In Touch that the engagement was off, and writer Fancy Maselli told the outlet that Ken was allegedly only in it for the money, saying, Ken wasn't in it for Gypsy, he saw her as a cash cow. She ended it with Ken, she didn't trust him anymore. Following her split from Ken, Gypsy Rose was once again back in the prison dating scene. In August 2022, she officially tied the knot with a teacher named Ryan Scott Anderson. As it turns out, Anderson decided to write a letter to the inmate as a result of a bet with his friend, who wanted to write to the Tiger King, aka Joe Exotic, whose documentary was popular at the time. And I said, okay, well, I'll make a deal with you. I said, you write Tiger King, I'll write Gypsy Rose Blanchard. And that's what happened. She was able to unite with Anderson upon her release, and the two had big plans for exploring the world together. Ahead of her being able to leave prison in December 2023, Gypsy Rose Blanchard had a few plans up her sleeve, including meeting none other than Taylor Swift. The convict had a deep connection with the musical artist. She explained to TMZ that she used her commissary money to purchase every Swift album released since she was incarcerated. Blanchard revealed to the publication that just days after her set release, she and her husband, Ryan Scott Anderson, purchased tickets to see the Kansas City Chiefs at Arrowhead Stadium on December 31, 2023. She explained that her plan was to hopefully cross paths with T-Swift, who was dating Chiefs tight end Travis Kelsey during the game. As it turned out, Blanchard had to leave the state at the request of her probation officer before she could attend the game. So her plans for a chance meeting with her celebrity idol were squashed. Blanchard also intends to do a lot of public speaking gigs and advocacy work for victims of child abuse. She wants to bring more attention to Munchausen by proxy, the syndrome that afflicted her mother. In prison, Gypsy Rose Blanchard found a number of interests and hobbies, ranging from photography to cosmetology. As writer Fancy Maselli explained to E! News, she does all of the photography for when the inmates take pictures and things like that. She's gotten into skincare and makeup and that kind of stuff. For Blanchard, her newfound pastimes gave structure and purpose to her life, which was long dictated by her mother before she was killed. Maselli told the Springfield News Leader, she's getting discipline, she's getting structure, all of those different things. Since her education was disrupted after her mother removed her from school in the second grade, Blanchard also took time to study hard while in prison and obtained her GED for her efforts. While Blanchard's regimented schedule behind bars involved work and hobbies, her schooling was also an important part of the picture. In a 2019 interview with the Springfield News Leader, Christy Blanchard said that Gypsy Rose was thriving in prison, explaining, She wakes up, goes to school, she goes to take pictures, back to school again, back to work again. While Gypsy Rose Blanchard was still living with her mother, Dee Dee Blanchard, relationships outside of the house, including friendships, were forbidden. Sometime in 2012, Gypsy Rose decided to defy her mother and make a secret online dating account. She met Nicholas Godijohn on the website, and the two talked in secret for two and a half years, often professing their love for one another with hopes of marrying in the future. The two planned out an in-person meetup at a movie theater in March 2015, but to Gypsy Rose's dismay, Dee Dee was weirded out by Go to John and disciplined her for spending too much time with him that day. The pair planned Dee Dee's murder shortly after that incident, and in June 2015, Go to John was led into the Blanchard home by Gypsy Rose, then stabbed Dee Dee to death while Gypsy Rose hid. Days later, the couple was arrested in connection with Dee Dee's death. In February 2019, Goda John was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole for the first degree murder of Dee Dee. Gypsy Rose and Goda John's relationship fizzled after their arrests. She revealed that she doesn't harbor resentment toward him for what he did, saying in her 2020 interview, 
I don't hate him. I feel sorry for him. Just that somebody could do something so heartless and not express remorse and not feel like he's responsible for it. I did my time. He's doing his time for his part. Um, and I wish him well on his journey. After her story went viral, the murder of Dee Dee Blanchard and the puzzling case of Gypsy Rose Blanchard was picked up by a number of television networks. From investigative journalism to dramatized works, Gypsy Rose has had her fair share of fame in documentaries like HBO's Mommy Dead and Dearest to Hulu's true crime series The Act, starring actor Joey King. The act received significant acclaim, though Gypsy Rose was unhappy with her story being told on screen without her consent. She told Bustle via email in 2019, "...I feel it is very unfair and unprofessional that producers and co-producer Michelle Dean has used my actual name and story without my consent." I have not watched the act, no. Do you um, plan on it? I don't plan on watching Why? it. Um, I lived it. Gypsy Rose threatened legal action against the show's creators, but Fancy Maselli quickly shut down her statements, telling Vulture that no legal action would be taking place. Gypsy Rose's story was once again told, but this time in her own words in the Lifetime docuseries The Prison Confessions of Gypsy Rose Blanchard. Leading up to her release from prison on December 28, 2023, Gypsy Rose Blanchard was already making preparations to assimilate into society, which in part started with social media accounts. Following her release, Blanchard began garnering a huge following on her Instagram and TikTok accounts, where she has 8.1 million and 9.8 million followers, respectively. Over the span of just a few days, Blanchard's social media following amassed millions, which proved to have its pros and cons. While she has countless supporters cheering her on, she also has many haters, who criticize everything from how she lives her life to how the world has embraced her despite her second-degree murder conviction. The fans turned haters have also accused Blanchard of profiting off of a terrible tragedy by partaking in interviews, releasing a docuseries, and sharing her life on social media. Since her mother's death in 2015, Gypsy Rose Blanchard's story has mystified the country and the world. Following her release, Gypsy has had a number of TV and print interviews discussing her story, her time in prison, and what her plans are with her husband, Ryan Anderson. Her first big interview was with Deborah Roberts of Good Morning America on January 5, 2024. The interview covered her tragic past and her involvement in the murder of her mother, Dee Dee Blanchard, as well as her connection to her younger self and what she's planning for the future. Another high-profile interview took place the same day with E.T., in which she discussed adjusting to her newfound freedom and social media fame. I don't even comprehend it at this point, really? because for me, I'm just another face in the crowd. Prior to her release, Gypsy Rose was working on her Lifetime documentary, The Prison Confessions of Gypsy Rose Blanchard, in which she shared her story from behind bars. The documentary had a lot of promotion leading up to and following her release. As it's a project that is obviously close to Blanchard's heart, her time has been filled with press tours and interviews across various news and entertainment outlets. In addition to being busy with her work-related responsibilities, Blanchard has also found space in her life to travel and spend time doing activities with her husband, Ryan Anderson. On Instagram and TikTok, she has documented herself doing fun things like exploring New York City, getting hair highlights, playing with her new puppy, and meeting professional wrestler Ricky Starks. Recently, a growing rumor has begun to sweep Blanchard's fan base, and it involves the possibility of her being pregnant. The rumor started with a video that Lifetime shared on its official Instagram page. In the reel, Blanchard is seated next to her husband, Ryan Anderson, who is holding their new puppy. The video is filmed from the waist up, and that, combined with Blanchard's giggly demeanor and the title pasted on the video teasing an exclusive announcement from the couple, led some fans to speculate that she is pregnant. The rumor has neither been confirmed nor denied by Blanchard or Anderson. The announcement, however, appears to be a follow-up to her Lifetime docuseries The Prison Confessions of Gypsy Rose Blanchard, which will seemingly pick up in the days after her prison release and, quote, be an authentic, raw, and revealing look at her new normal.